Police of Cincinnati District 5 police officers, both past and present, are speaking out after another officer was diagnosed with cancer this week. Today, the leader of the Cincinnati Police Union demanded that a new headquarters for employees be found somewhere. The deadline? This Christmas. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka spoke with the family of one officer who lost that fight with cancer. Ashley? Craig, James Kroger was a specialist here at District 5 and spent most of his time behind a desk. He died of cancer six years ago. His son reached out to us after seeing our story. Here's James Kroger at his retirement party, the number 27 on his hat. That's how many years his family says he worked for the Cincinnati Police Department. All the memories that I have mostly are from his time at uh, District 5. After his retirement, Kroger became a dispatcher for the St. Bernard Police Department. Here's his Law Enforcement Lifetime Achievement Award. It wasn't just work for him, that, those were, you know, that was also his social life as well. Kroger's son, John Paul Kroger, tells me his father died of bladder cancer in 2011. Not really sure if it could be related or not, but I thought that it was interesting and, you know, possibly there may be some connection, who knows. The city says tests show the building isn't causing the health issues, but FOP President Sergeant Dan Hill says at least 30 past and present D5 employees have been diagnosed with cancer, including one more diagnosis on Monday. He says six officers under the age of 60 died of cancer in the past two years. These are some of their faces. I spoke with several of their families. Specialist Stephanie Bradford and Robert McGuire died on the same day. If my father were still there, then I think that we would probably lobby him hard. Kroger says his dad did make some lifestyle choices that could have played a role in his death, but the trend is unsettling. You wouldn't want your father working there? No, I wouldn't. Not at all. Now the police chief says they have found a temporary housing, a location for about 35 employees who spend a lot of time indoors. That will be located at a former bank on Colerain Avenue. The goal is to get those employees in there sometime before Christmas. The chief says they also have plans for a permanent location for all employees. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.